so I know I said that I was gonna be making these like almost daily but uh thing is I've been like something came up pretty much alright but anyways welcome back to another um series of the discord.js uh series and then I mean episode uh anyway so <clears throat> what we're gonna be going over today is that we're gonna be going over the clear command I mean yeah, yeah the clear command and how to hide your token um so if you if you like show a lot of people your code you don't want people to like know your token obviously and we're gonna like talk about a clear command on how it like deletes messages so anyways let's get started so we're just gonna be using as if just like the uh bot that on command um when i told you guys in the last episode on how to make custom commands so we're gonna do bot dot on one second all right bot dot on and then message message and then arrow all right. so let's just copy and paste this because we don't have to type all this out and then let's open this all right first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do message dot delete Why are we getting a problem? Oh yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Case and then clear. And there. All right. So what message? What message dot delete is gonna do? Uh, here, let me show you guys an example. So start all that. Look for that to get on. Come on. Come on. All right. So if we just get Discord, all right. So we did question mark clear, and then I'm just gonna delete the message. That's pretty much all it does. Is it's like it delete the message um, when you send it. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in. Uh, all right. So we're gonna need to define. Remember the um, if you have a role or a permission. So for this case, we're just gonna do a permission. So we're gonna do if. And then pretty much what this point like means in coding is like not so if not message dot member dot has permission and then we're gonna open and then uh we're just gonna use administrator or actually um let's see we're gonna put yeah we'll just put administrator so if they have the permission administrator, we're gonna return. I mean, if they don't have the permission administrator, we're gonna return message dot channel dot send, and we're gonna type in. Um, remember how we put a cons no perms? So we're gonna type in no perms. So now, if we do not have the administrator permission, it's just gonna send. I don't think you have the right um, permission to do that. Alright. So let's get on. All right, so what we're gonna do is do if, all right, so like if there's no args uh, one, uh, you're gonna return. And what args one is, is okay, so let me show you an example. So this does not count as um, an arg because we already defined it over here. So this does not count as an arg. So this, oh, actually, wait, wait, no, it does count as an arg. I don't remember. I think this all counts as an arg. Yeah. So this is arg zero, right here. And then when you type in space and then f, f would be the the arg, uh, which is the first. But it's technically the second because the first one counts as zero. So this would have to like be a number. So you can do question mark clear two, for example. So we're gonna do return and then message dot channel dot send and then we're gonna type in um uh we can type in please provide a number we're gonna type that all right so now we're gonna do message dot channel dot bulk delete and then we're gonna type in and then we're gonna put in successfully deleted 
So what this is gonna do is gonna just. Well, actually, wait. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we're not done yet. Anyways, um, I put this wrong. All right. So Mr. Channel, the the bug the leads is gonna like put the message where of the clear, and then the channel is gonna bug delete, and then now it's gonna delete args one, which is gonna be the numbers. So and then we're gonna do dot then, and then we're gonna open uh like this and then like this. Alright. So oh, I need this right here. Alright. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna type in message dot channel dot send and then we're gonna type in successfully deleted. So what you guys can do is I showed you how you can like get emojis um in the last video. So we can just try to find a pencil emoji right here. Let's try to find a pencil emoji. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's just type in pencil. Uh, I think, yeah, this one is a part of Discord. So we're just gonna go like this. And then I just wanna give us the copy and paste for it. Then we go back to Visual Studio. Alright, so we're gonna type in over here and then like that. So now it's gonna like say successfully deleted if we put in our arm. So what we're just gonna do is we're gonna type in uh, a dot then here. So dot then. And then we're gonna open in with a um, message and then an error function and squiggly lines. So we're gonna type in msg dot react. So this is just gonna react to the message as I showed you guys over here. So we're just gonna copy and paste this and then it's gonna react with that once everything's done. So now, if you want, you, you don't have to do this, but you can. If you go like this, okay. If you do console.log and then you're gonna type in. If you, you don't have to do this, this is just optional. But uh, we're gonna type in. Okay, so look, you have to put the thing that's next to the number one. So you can put in functions for it. So we're gonna type in message.author.username. Um, delete, deleted, oh, deleted, and then args one, um, messages in, and then message dot channel dot name. So what this is going to do is it's going to get the message dot author dot username, which whoever did the clear command. And then it's gonna say deleted, and then in args one, I mean deleted args one messages, which the args one is gonna be the number as I showed over here, and then messages in, and then message.channel.name, which is gonna get the name for the channel. All right, so now we'll just test it out. So uh, let's go like this. Open this. So we'll give that a second. So if we just type in F F F F F F and then we're gonna do clear uh let's see one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna do clear six. It's gonna say successfully deleted. Oh, I miscounted. But anyway, so and then it reacted with this. So now if we go check in the console over here, uh clap and deleted six messages in general. So the name is general and my name is clapping. So that's like it for the clear command. So now let me show you how to hide your token. So first thing you need to do is, uh, let's go, okay. So what you're gonna need to do is create a new file and name it config.json. So you now you're gonna open squarely brackets like this. So pretty much all you need to do, just open it, then press uh, enter. And then what you're gonna need to do is type in token or wait, um, I think it was like this token, and then like this, um, like this. All right, yeah. So then you're gonna get grab your token, and then gonna go like this, and then copy and paste this into the config.json. Oh. All right. So now it's in the config.json. Now what you're gonna need to do is just delete this. And then leave the const token. 
So you're gonna need to do prompt. Oh, actually, we'll just delete this. Do space and then type in token and then space. And then equal require. And then we're gonna type in, me oh, not message, oh, sorry. A dot slash config dot JSON. Make sure you don't have it in a file, cause like if you have it in a file, well actually you can't have it in a file. You're gonna have to, let, so let's just say here. Uh, let me make a new file, test, and then here, no crap. I mean in a folder, so if we just, oh. and my video studio crashed, I'm guessing. Uh, okay. Just give it a little bit. So we're gonna do a new folder and we're gonna name it test. And then if we put it in here. So now what we're gonna need to do oh wait, not index, sorry. Um move config. Yeah. Alright. Yes. And then so if we have it in here, uh as you can see, is if we start the bot, uh start all that. So we're just gonna crash. So what are you gonna need? Oh wait, oh, here this is wrong. Uh, message. Uh, anyway. Um. Okay. So, if we want to like put it in this, so what we're gonna need to do is delete this. Okay. So you're gonna need to do dot slash and then test, and then slash config dot json. All right. So now it should not crash. So if we start up this, give it a second, and it should start up. Alright, so it started up. So actually, I would kind of suggest you put it in a file, but you're gonna have to do this. And test is gonna be the name of the file. So I'm just gonna rename this. Uh, rename. Token. So I'm just gonna name it that. And then give it a second. My PC has been kind of laggy lately. Alright, uh, so we put in token. So now it's gonna do the dot. The dot you just have to keep it like that. I don't know why, but then it's gonna go to the token folder. And then gonna go to config.json. It's gonna find token, which you named it right here. So now if we were to go. For here, let's just make sure it works. All right, and it works. So we went over the clear one, for example, and there. So anyway, wait, why didn't it clear? Uh, crap. Yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, just dislike, I guess. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.